Okay, well, we just spent the night here in Petro, Oklahoma City. We didn't get up to like 10 after 6 and run there, grab a quick shower. Our, our lumber supply place opens at 7. And I wanted to be there at 7. And we're 4 miles away. And it's 6.58. So. That kind of sucks. But I had to get a video rendered last night. Get that put up. It's still uploading. Uh, data must be slow right here in Oklahoma City. It could be the laptop sometimes too. I, I don't know. I, I, you know, I used to think it was the data, but anyway, I don't know what's going on. Even the cell phones running slow yesterday, uh, so I'm not sure. Anyway, we uh, are going to go here and unload this insulation. And then yesterday we secured us a load going to uh, North Carolina, picking up right here in Oklahoma City. And it's going to swing me right by my house for the holiday weekend. So I'll be home on Saturday. Uh, and maybe leave out Monday evening or Tuesday morning. We will see. Pick whatever lane you want to there, sir. I had them both. I don't think we turn right here on Reno. I think we gotta go. The other side of Reno. We gotta get up on that freeway up there. That's why I didn't get up here beside him. I knew he was confused as to where he wanted to go. Looks to be a beautiful day in Oklahoma while they are unloading these bags of insulation, which I would imagine is going to take them at least a couple hours. It's a floor load of uh, stacked bags. They loaded it with one of them squeeze lifts, but it's going to take manual labor to unload it. Probably, I don't know what kind of operation they got over here, but I'm going to armor all my tires. I need, uh, I'm going to stay in this lane because I think I might need 225. This gets, or 235, this all gets confusing. So we're going to stay in this lane right here. Because it says keep left and keep right, blah, blah, blah. Wait, wait, they say keep right and keep, but anyway. Look at I'm very smart. This ramp right now, they can be confusing. Uh, a lot of times, especially when you get into these spaghetti top interchanges, they can really throw you off your game. Probably just gonna cut through the woods. Anyway, we'll see you over here closer to the uh, delivery. So it appears under construction. The sign back here said they didn't use exit. Uh, that exit right there, but In a half mile, take I didn't like the looks of it. So I don't know if this one's closed or or what. I think we're going up here to exit three and try to come back. It's open. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. F 
Yeah, we can't go right. Half mile, turn left on 24th Street. Why don't we go turn left? I think we just basically go straight. So, road work ahead. So I think maybe they were just doing periodic closure of it. So I think we made the right decision. Unless we gotta go right. Which I don't think we do. I got a squeak over here and I, I had a uh, Peterbilt check that exhaust pipe for looseness and they said, nope, it's tight. 98 bucks. <laughs> so, what did that go? It's squeaking. I'm pretty sure it's not the hood mount because the hood mount would be up here in the dash. It's right here over my left shoulder, so I'm pretty sure it's those bushings in that exhaust stack that is leaking or squeaking. I want to figure out how to get in there. But you got that heat shield, uh, so getting down there would be is a pain. But I'm about ready to do some investigating. All right, we'll see you here closer to the. Um, I just thought it was going to be some kind of excitement for y'all because if we had to make a right right here, it would be it would be pretty brutal. So luckily, we're going to go straight across and kind of do a little dog leg up there. You guys can't see that far, but y'all gonna have to get y'all some bifocals or some binoculars. Come on. Well, I see a uh, must be a lumber yard around there at the curb. I seen a it might be a TMC truck with a load of roofing. He was across the road there in the dirt. So we don't have to stop. There's no yield signs. Good lord, this is rough. Come on, rough. I Google mapped this place and uh, the dock looks to be rather challenging. Because uh, most lumber yards are not used to set up for docks. And this one has a dock for insulation. And it appears to be challenging. So, uh, could be interesting. Could be very, very. In is this my place right here? No, it's a shingle place. That's where that flatbed's going. I'm pretty sure it's a TMC trip. Yep, TMC. Gotta find Cherokee building materials. There's another TMC on our left. Do, 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 Cherokee roofing, no crosswords, ropes, roofing supply. 29th Street. 700 feet, turn right on 31st Street and then approaching the destination on the right side in 630 feet. Shut up. There's 30th Street. over there. Bet we should have went right on 30th. But the address is 31st. Swing it out. We don't want to take out the little fire hydrant. So that's our lumber yard on the right. See, I think we could have went in off of 30th, but that would have put us with everything on the road. Depends on where the dock's at. All deliveries here, so okay. Yeah, I think that's an alley dock right here at the corner of this building, which is going to be brutal. On the right side. To get this thing in there, I'd, I'd, I'd should have stayed out there on the street, you know. Um, we don't run over none of these metal studs. Apparently, they use metal studs in, uh, in 
in Oklahoma. Yeah, that's our dock right here. And that right there is going to be that brutal. That peat's not going to do that, you know. That peat is just not going to do it. Hang on, let me show you what I'm talking about. See that? Yeah, see all this room? Yeah, not pretty, man. Not pretty. I'm here surveying the land here. We gotta have to cut this tire really close to this metal right here. So if we follow these black marks, we should almost hit this pole. Uh, we gotta hope the belly box clears this grade here. But yeah, it does not look very pretty at all, man. And um, they've got all this metal over here in the way. So that's where the front end needs to go. So we're hoping they'd come over here and move those bundles. If they'd move those bundles right there out of the way, it would make this job a lot easier. Yeah, because trucks, trucks got to go over there. We're not going to be able to get this. I don't even know why we are going to try. Ain't no way we can get it. All that stuff over is in the way. You know? So if you motion sick guys, I'm sorry about your luck. Cause you're gonna get really, really sick right here. Uh, we're gonna be getting out a lot, checking our airlines, checking our right front corner. Uh, Cause this girl is not. That thing's a little loud, isn't it? The guy said the other day that a girl came in. I've been driving one week and. Said they couldn't get in the dock. I don't know. He said something about taking a long time. And he said, You don't want to know what I told him. I said, Yeah, I don't. But I'm a rookie myself, man. You know? Um, I, am a, I could really use a spotter. I don't think we got over far enough. I see the rear end's gonna go fine. But I got nowhere to go over there. So the rear end's going. So I love that. But see, there's nowhere for the front of the truck to go. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Yes, yeah, that's as far as we can go. All this right here is in the way. All that's in the way. My airlines are over the flap. Uh, but we're going in there, you know. She's going in. See, so she's going in the dock. So, yeah, it's just all that stuff right there is in the way, you know. Here comes the forklift now. So, I might have to pull back out of it and uh, get out of this forklift's way. I probably should unhook that spring right there. If I unhook that spring right there, that would solve the problem. Looks like so these two you think you can get in or? Yeah, move all that and these two right here I can probably get it. Yeah. Yep. So I pull back up out of the way. I kinda I kinda like it. I kinda like where I'm at, you know. I mean, well, we ain't gotta move this. Okay. Move. Yep, I'll pull up. You guys see all those swirls in that trailer? So we're gonna go slow. Probably need to go back here and pull that airline off of that mud flap.
It's a learning curve, uh, people. It's a learning curve. We were going in the dock perfect, and uh, so now we got now we probably won't ever be able to hit it again, you know. Just gotta walk that rear end. I think the rear end's going. Now it's gotta watch the front of this thing. Yeah, we're going good. Yeah, door's clear. I just want to make sure she's going to keep walking around that pole. Because I got no way to go forward. Right. Yeah, we're good. Right. Yeah, yeah, I want to check his front end clearance. I know getting that spring really helped. Like I said, it's just a learning curve. Oh, yeah, we're good, man. We keep coming on around. Those swirls in that trailer, man, tick me off. They just tick me off, come on. Oh, we're a half inch as good as a mall, isn't it? I think we're good now, right? Yeah, I think you're passing pivot point, so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just don't let me hit this. Don't. Yeah, I think, um, well, we should, I don't know if we should pull up right now or not. sun is brutal that door now, that belly box is looking pretty close back there 
I do not want to drag that belly box. We don't look it. So yeah, we got. See, we're going to get close to this belly box. Let's go back another two twenty feet. We always slide them wheels up. That would help that quite a bit. We got in here, but I don't know if we're going to get out. Still got another 10 feet to go. Let's uh, pull up. Scoot over a couple inches. Just don't want to rip that door off on that pole right there. We're going to have to uh, slide our wheels all the way to the rear to get that um, A lot of work sometimes there, right? smokes people I'll get it. I knew you could. Woo! I ain't walking all the way down there. All right, guys, this audio has been giving me trouble here lately. We got the tires all juiced up. Put me on the dock probably 15, 20 minutes. Eh, maybe 20 minutes. Show you how they're unloading it.
I thought they were going to do it all by hand. But it's all floor loaded. Big bales. Let's go in there and get with a forklift. Look here. We're halfway done already. I mean, killer, dude. Killer. Then we got uh, about a 15 mile ride to go get our next load picked up. And uh, then we go home. 850, 850 miles to the house. Uh, but we'll get it. You guys, check this out. I think this camera auto rotates. Let's try it. Check that out. That's some close. That's close clearance, is it not? Anyway, that camera auto rotates. It's pretty nice. Little GoPro doing the job. We're a tad crooked, but hey, man, we got it in the stinking dock. You know, the trailer's not crooked. I don't think. I think my see is straight on this side. Which way it's lining up with? And this side right here looks crooked, but could be their dogs had a V. Let's go back here and look at the back of the trailer. It's square on the dock. Anyway, who bloody cares? See y'all on the next one. Okay, we are empty. Just like that. 845. Wasn't bad. Wasn't bad at all. Now we gotta pull up here and slide these wheels. Um back and then see if we can't get out of here. They said the uh, belly box did kiss the ground there a little bit. I couldn't hear it, so that's the bad thing about it. You can't, sometimes you can't hear it, so hopefully we did not. Um, do any more damage to the braces. So we're gonna try to go left and keep going left. I don't know if it'll make it or not. So we can't go right. That would be the easiest way out of here. But we cannot go right. All right, there is the wheels all the way to the front. Everybody's gonna ask me, driver, why are your wheels all the way to the front? Well, because we got a really tight uh, listen for that belly box. I don't think she drugged. Uh, we're beyond the belly box now. So now we gotta get out of here without the tail swing hitting the other pole and keep an eye on our mud flaps as well. Not mud flaps, but um, airlines. Everything looking good so far. Yeah, see, we keep going at test weight. We're gonna pull up, back up one more time, and clear that. Airlines are looking okay. Still good shape on that. Sometimes it's just as hard to get out as it is to get in. I need a spotter. That's what we need. What we need is a spotter. Let's go check everything one more time. Because this is my trailer. We don't want to rip a door off. 
I think our front end is going to clear that so we can keep going. And the trailer swing is beyond the pole. And uh, so we're good here. Oh, yeah, we are good, man. We're good. Let's, let's keep it going on out of it. And we'll pull up and close the doors. And uh, fix their spring hanger back. And then off to the next one. You watch me wear studs. Now we can see the airlines back there, make sure they're not getting hung up on the mud flat. Oh yeah man. We'll get this old we'll get this old rookie figured out. I should have straightened up a little bit more. I could have got it under the trailer. Put that spring hanger back on there. I just had a shower. Had my hair all nice and combed. And this head cam is messing up my hair. Because we can get to it from this side. We're gonna need to straighten up first. These skirts makes it makes it a little bit of a tight fit, you know. It's uh it's not working out very good on that end there, you know. It's uh kind of rough on it. Probably should have drilled a hole bigger. Alright, so there they are. Everything's good to go. I just had aluminum bending, that's all it is. Needs a washer between that. See, it needs a space in there. All right, beautiful, we got it going on. All right, now it's a 15 mile journey to where we got to go next. Not bad of a dead head there, right? So if they got all their sheetrock trucks in the way, we could have a problem because we don't want to go right. We want to go back out the way. We want to go back out the other direction because that right turn up here would be brutal. I've already scoped it all out. So, put the seat down so you guys can see. Let's turn our lights off now. Ooh, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. I need my biscuit. So it's nine o'clock. We told the guy we'd be over by noon. So we're going to be way early for our pickup. Picked up some kind of machine. It weighs like 900 pounds. And apparently it's supposed to be expensive. So they want exclusive use of the trailer, you know? So I don't know. I'm curious to see what it is. So it's about 84 inches tall. And, and uh, I'm like, hey, as long as it fits in the box, man, I don't care. It fits the ships. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was a pleasure. That was an absolute pleasure. We uh, did it. We came, we saw, we kicked ass. Come on. Sorry, we should say kick butt. Can you use that language on this channel? It is a family channel. 
so we do not want to uh... so anyway you guys have a good one I hope you enjoyed that uh, rookie driving episode and do not comment on my airlines because I don't care what you have to say about that that's where I wanted to put them spent a lot of money to put them there and it's working out fine regardless of what you think that was a tight radius with this 290 that'd be a 245 truck it'd be about as far as you could jack one anyway um, there's no way to get above the tires with the airlines underneath the trailer so get over it I'm sorry I just had some comments about that you know put up a pole back there so, man I tell you what uh, anyway it is a learning curve and we will learn it don't panic if I tear them up guess what I've got plenty more I've got a whole other set so we will um, see y'all on the next load thanks for watching have a good day Life is good. Come on now.